we also got a message to call John Smith. So well, we have to phone him. Well, yeah. Ah. He, yeah, no, he wants to speak to us. He wants to phone. Well, he, I got a message from the Vashni at the Shark saying, jo, jo, Mr. Smith, or John wants to phone you. And I thought, gee, this is a hell of a roundabout way of uh, avoiding John phoning him. So should we give him a call? Let's phone him, yeah. I don't know if, he, if it's supposed to be like, but he did, it is him wanting to phone us. We ascertain that, okay? But we don't know what he wants to talk about. No idea. I've got my suspicions. And it's not about that interview we did last week. Because <laughs> I also have my suspicions. No, he wants to phone us on the air, unless he really wants to bury us. Uh, I don't know. doesn't strike me as the malicious No, kind. well, I have my suspicions. Okay. Yeah. Might have something to do with a Facebook posting this weekend. It could be, I don't know. From you? Yeah. Oh, I see. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Very good. No, so the reason that I'm calling is I saw a video, unfortunately. Ah, I knew it was that. I knew it was that, yeah. yeah. What are well, we going to do? I mean, yeah, you, you tell me. I mean, how do we get to this point? That's in the, in our, in the relationship, how do we get to this point? Oh, well, I don't know because it's nothing, none of my doing. And, and I'm so glad the last part of that video was actually on the... And I, for those that haven't seen it... And, there are thousands that have. It's actually like 40-something thousand people have watched that video really? already. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I, um, I'm I, glad I left the last part on where I said, who put you up to this? He blamed our producer, Will, but I, I know for a fact it's not Will that did it. Uh, apparently, Sasha Martinengo has been priming my light here because he comes to work with Daddy often. And he every yeah. time he sees him, uh, Sasha's a Blue Bulls fan, so maybe we need to work on him as well. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you managed to exercise the lions out of me, John. Yes. I think we need to do something drastic here, almost like an exorcism, I suppose, mm-hmm. of sorts. Next, I think you need to bring him to Durban. That's a, that's a good start. It has to be during a, a weekend where we actually have a home game here. Mm-hmm. Bring him in. We'll, put him, we'll get him on, the, on top of Sharky's head, around the pitch, come into the change, and we'll, we'll, we'll indoctrinate him completely. Other than this Martinengo half-hearted uh, propaganda campaign with the blue shirt, he's not going to have anything on the kind of stuff we can do with your kid. All right. You'll pop him on Sharky's head? Uh, well, you know, you know, you invite him on top of the head there. So you hold on to the horn. You know, have you not, have you not uh, swung the sharks? I'm going to turn Simon off right now, being a province supporter. Yeah. He doesn't have any part in this. 100%. Um, okay, well, that, I'm happy to do that. You you know I'm, uh, I'm very... I'm going to facilitate uh, with exorcism. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll do it properly. Bring him here and we'll shockify him in one afternoon. But uh, here we go. we'll be seeing we are black, we are white, we are dynamite for the rest of the time. <laughs> That's the way. He's got all the kits because uh, you guys have already been uh, fantastic in, in sending him all the... All the all the lighty sharks kit, but uh, I think we just need to actually change his thinking a little bit. But that's cool, done deal. Are we happy to uh, to to get him down to? Uh, in fact, wh- when do you play the Bulls down there? Well, that's true. That's coming up as well, and we've got a little road show coming as well. So we're actually coming to spend most of the week mm. up in the Khating area to uh, um, keep our fans from that side happy. Yeah, so, and there are lots of those. So that, yeah, lots of them. Yeah, so we are coming. We are making our away game a home game. I'm going to live in Pretoria and Joburg for the week. Fantastic. Well, uh, just let us know. Just get uh, the lovely Navashni to uh, keep him posted, and we'll definitely bring him there. And uh, we'll get that, that sorted out as well. Um, what I will try first, though, Bonnie, is uh, maybe just play him a video of the Bulls game against the Lions this weekend. and maybe. The- <laughs> <laughs> uh, Got to be honest with you, I was very relieved that we weren't playing the Lions first. So. <laughs> yeah, you talk about, you talk about <laughs> Greg was hitting the ground running. They've had six months of that team. To, know, to get sure. going, so uh, uh, totally and and an altered team from Super Rugby point of view. So yeah, they look. They'll keep a lot of Curry Cup teams teams busy this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're going to be there or thereabouts. Cool. Thanks, Barnes. Appreciate it, but we'll sort it. We'll sort him out. So uh, by the time he gets to an age where he knows what he's doing, yeah. he's supporting no, the right team. That, no, no. no. You know, in life, it's all about your peers and who you hang around with. It will depend yeah. on where you end up. Yeah, it, it ruined my entire him. weekend. I could yeah. not believe what I was hearing from him. He's too young for that kind yeah. of influence. So let's help the guy. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. All right, Darren. Go Appreciate well. it, bud. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. There we go. John Smith. I knew it was that. Yeah. Very so, funny video. Huh? You should play it now. Yeah, let's. Yeah. This, is, this is what happened. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, and you're watching us at balls.co.za, then you'll be able to see it. Anyway, so while I was sitting watching Arsenal annihilate Man City um, on, uh, on Sunday, yesterday, just after I got home from, uh, from my wife's exploits at Emperor's Palace, uh, I'm sitting upstairs just having a breather, having a twack, watching Arsenal win. It's, what a great weekend this has been. 
all round. And then my, I see my lighty's head pop up the stairs, dragging his bike behind him. He wants to ride his bike there, so so come sit on Daddy's lap, come and watch, uh, come and watch some uh, great great football team winning here. So he's like, yeah, I want to ride my bike. So he's standing there. I go, Marky, what team do you support? Thinking of Arsenal Man City, right? His favorite color is blue. He claims mine's red, but it's not. It's also blue, but anyway. So he thinks because I support Arsenal and they wear red, red is my favorite color. So I said to him, Marky, what is your favorite team? Thinking he might go Arsenal because he knows I'm an Arsenal fan, but he might go Man City because they wear blue. So without even looking at the screen, he goes, the Blue Bulls. <laughs> and I almost fell off my chair. If I was on the bar stool, I would have actually hurt myself. He says, the Blue Bulls. And I'm like, where the hell does that come from? We don't use language like it in our house. So I got the video. That's when I got the video. I said, okay, let me just get this document. This and I got it. And, and he's wanting to ride his bike, hence his irritation. And uh, so this is what happened after that. I'll ask you something. Who's your favorite team? No. Which team do you like? Uh, I first want to join. Which is your favorite? Just tell Daddy what you said to Daddy. No, I don't want to. What team do you like? I don't love. You I must love the Sharks. I don't want to love the Sharks. Who do you love? The Blue Bulls. What? The Blue Bulls. You love the Sharks? I don't. Who do you love? The Blue, the blue Bulls. Okay, You're breaking daddy's heart here. Yeah. Who told you to say that? Who told you to say that? Huh? Will. Huh? Will. Will. Yeah. Will's fired. <laughs>